हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सैयद टीचर ऑफ माउंट लेटर जी स्कूल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द ग्राफ सो इन ग्राफ वी हैव टू कलेक्ट द डेटा वी हैव टू अरेंज द डेटा एंड देन थ्रू द ग्राफ वी रिप्रेजेंटेड दैट अरेंज डेटा तो वॉट द ग्राफ डू ग्राफ विल गिव द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट ऑल द डेटा इन वेरी एफिशियंट मैनर विद इन अ मिनट वी कैन ऑब्जर्व ऑल द डेटा थ्रू द ग्राफ so there are various types of graph so in the on the screen you are seeing so this graph is called the bar graph so these are the called the bar graph so in this these are the bars so different different bars are representing different character this is the first second third and the height of the graph representing the data of this uh, uh, bar graph so this this line is the x axis and this line is the y axis so in this graph they are saying that terms means the marks of the student first term second term and third term and in this y axis they are showing marks in mathematics so how many marks are in mathematics so suppose that first term the student uh, uh, having giving the exam in first term and he scored about 25 marks in second term he scored 30 marks and in third term he scored 45 marks so through this data we equally uh, 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 observe the result of the student then there are other types of graph so here is the next so this graph is the double bar graph in the previous graph there is a single bar and in this graph there are the double bar so what this graph shows so always observe the x axis and y axis of the graph so here this is the x axis this is called the fruits and the y axis called the sales of that fruits and different different bars are showing the different different fruits so different bar shows the different types of fruits here so mango then there is the apple then orange then papaya and banana so this gives the sales and the sales on two days that is the monday and tuesday so that is why here we are using the double bar graph one is the dark and another one is the light color so dark color shows the monday sales and light color shows the tuesday sales so suppose that take an example of orange then orange the monday sale was about uh, 27.5 kg because it is come this line come between the 30 and 25 and on tuesday the sale was 35 kg that shows that the on tuesday the sale is more as compared to monday so we can do the comparison also suppose that take the example of papaya so in this papaya monday and tuesday sales are both are same while for banana the monday sales is more as compared to tuesday sales so we can easily collect the information from the graph here is the next type of graph that is called the line graph so this graph is called the line graph in this graph these are called the coordinate these points are called the coordinates okay so these these all are called the coordinates this is the test y axis and x axis so this shows the temperature and this shows the time there are different different time what is the temperature here the important thing is this line is drawn this line so this line is also called the broken line okay and we can also call the kink so this is called the broken line and why we draw this so mainly this shows that from 0 to 30 there is no information so from 0 to 30 there has no information so there is no need to represent that graph okay the information is from 30 temperature to the 40 or 42 degree centigrade so we represent only that information so this is the line graph after marking the points so this point is in front of the 6 am that means at 6 am the temperature was 37 37 degree centigrade and at 10 am the temperature was 40 degree centigrade and when we join the line to so becomes a complete line graph there is another type of graph which is called this this graph is called the pie chart okay pie chart mainly divide the circle in different different sectors and how to divide it okay so suppose that they are saying this is the 50% okay they are as shown in the graph so how this mark the 50% how they uh, use this space so we know that the total angle of a circle is 360 degree okay so 50% means 50 upon 100 of 360 so when we reduce this so it becomes 180 
180 degree so here suppose that this is the reference line this red okay this straight line is the reference line so suppose that this one is the reference line so from this we mark the angle that is 180 degree so here we can make this graph uh, by the measuring the angle so this is the complete pie chart so this also some whole pie chart is shows the information what is the news percentage information percentage and sport percentage now the next type of graph is the histogram so histogram is look like a uh, bar graph it look closely look, look like a bar graph but it is not a bar graph it is a histogram here the bar are joined okay and here also there is a broken line so this so there, there is no information from 0 to 40 because every uh, bar is having the same width so bar graph as well as in histogram the uh, is width of the rectangle should be the same so you have 5 5 the difference of 5 5 is there okay and these are joined so this become a histograph so here this shows this graph is shows the weight here the weight on the x-axis and number of persons on the y-axis so suppose that 40 to 45 kg the person with weighing between 40 to 5 45 kg so how many persons are there approx four persons are there so this information that is from the data so we collect the data we arrange the data so this already the arranged data now this arranged data is converted into a graph so that means from 40 to 45 four persons are there similarly 45 to 50 45 to 50 there is 12 persons are there because this bar graph height is having a 12 so these are all type of graph which we have to understand so in next chapter we will learn how to collect the information from the graph and how to uh, do the and some information about the line graph so i hope you will understood thank you